I am Laladanu Mohanty. I work as a technical lead for Red Hat Container Development Kit. I consider myself as a free software and open source enthusiast and advocate. Red Hat Container Development Kit is a way to give developers a development environment which is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux on the workstation so that they can package, build, and run containers. When you run applications, they are most in real life they are multiple applications, and we are talking about DevOps here, microservices here, right? So you need a DevOps environment where you can actually deploy microservices on your workstation and also it actually fits into the DevOps uh, ecosystem, DevOps concepts, where your developer environment is almost similar to a production environment. The most important feature of uh, CDK is you can actually set up OpenShift, which is a patch offering from Red Hat. It's actually a platform as a service. It can also act as a container as a service and it's, uh, it actually supports uh, private cloud, public cloud, basically hybrid cloud. But with CDK, you can set up OpenShift just with one command on your workstation, and can then you, can, you can use it for your application development. With CDK, developer will get free subscription to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and the developer environment is based on, on top of it. In the Hat ecosystem, we recommend OpenShift and Kubernetes Basically, the developer can choose either of these, but the open-ended uh, solution would be OpenShift to run the containers. CDK makes it really easy for a developer to set up OpenShift. It's actually a simple Vagrant app command, and it will set the whole OpenShift on your laptop. It's a single node OpenShift setup. CDK promotes OpenShift as the open-ended solution application developers should run their containers because OpenShift actually takes care of the whole life cycle of the application, starting from building the image, the Docker image, and running them, and also the continuous deployment, pipelines, and stuff like that. CDK say, makes more sense to enterprise application developers, where application developers want to focus their effort on developing just the application, and let the um, tool takes care of building the application, running the application, on a supported enterprise platform. If you're an application developer and you are using Microsoft Windows and OS X as your workstation, you cannot run Linux containers on top of it because it's not supported. So how do you get almost native experience on your platform, whatever you are using? And that can be done through CDK. If you are using Eclipse, you can, can continue using Eclipse to build your containers run your containers, may it be just using Docker or maybe using OpenShift, and that can be implicitly done on CDK. If you are a developer using Microsoft Windows, the best way to get CDK is you should use Developer Suite, which is an installer for CDK, and it will install all the required components on your workstation, and you can just start working with it.